In the last episode of Morpheus Crypto, we said that short-term weakness in Bitcoin was likely to soon lead to a test of the 50-day moving average before prices could move higher in the intermediate term. That's exactly what happened as the very next day Bitcoin sold off sharply but found support at its 50-day moving average where it's been holding for the past several days. In today's video, we'll dive into the importance of that pivotal moving average known as the 50-day moving average, and we'll take a look at some altcoins that are showing some great relative strength since the pullback to the 50-day moving average. Stick around. We've got some great setups for you to take a look at today. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already. Let's go ahead and dive in. The 50-day moving average is a well-known and widely used indicator of intermediate term trend. When the price action of a crypto is above the 50-day moving average, we generally are considered to be in an intermediate term uptrend. And when the price is below it, it's an intermediate term downtrend. Looking at this chart of Bitcoin on the daily time frame, we can see that over the past several months, the 50-day moving average has been a very pivotal level. Uh, back in April, when we were trading above the 50-day moving average, notice how the price of Bitcoin bounced off the 50-day moving average at least three times before we finally broke down below it, which sparked a significant sell-off. And then once we broke below it, we tried to rally back up into that 50-day moving average, but uh, the 50-day moving average prior support became new resistance. And by the way, that's one of the most basic tenets of technical analysis is that a prior level of support becomes the new resistance after the support is broken. And you can see here, that's exactly what happened. After we broke below the 50-day moving average, we were unable to rally back above it. And then we sold off more in June. And finally, in mid-June, we did break out above the 50-day moving average here. We noticed this big bar and the volume surged. And that's, that's because the 50-day moving average is such an important level. So when the price action got back above that and held, it attracted lots of buyers and that sparked the rally that led to the current consolidation of the past month that we've seen in Bitcoin. Now, in our last video, we said that this month-long consolidation of Bitcoin was bullish, but we said in the short term, over the past week, price action was consolidating near the lows of that range. And because of that, it was likely that we would see an undercut of this range and a test of the 50-day moving average, which was in close proximity. And that's exactly what happened. The next day after that video, 50-day moving average was tested and uh, we dipped below it just slightly. And then over the past three days, notice how that 50-day moving average has been like a rock holding up the price action of Bitcoin. So obviously, that's a key level to watch. Um, we could see another test of this 50-day moving average over the next day or two. And that would be okay to shake out some more supply, uh, overhead supply. But what we don't want to see is we wouldn't want to see a breakdown below this July 24th low, uh, which was right around the 28,850 level. So a break below that level would confirm a breakdown below the 50-day moving average, and that would be a reversal of the intermediate term trend. But as long as we hold above this 50-day moving average, uh, we are looking like uh, we could stage a rally in the near to intermediate term based upon this shakeout. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum, which has a similar chart pattern. Just like Bitcoin, Ethereum also bounced off support of its 50-day moving average this week after an undercut below it, a snap back above it the next day. Now, um, if we look back over the past several months, we see also that Ethereum had a similar chart pattern to Bitcoin, held support of its 50-day moving average, although it was quite uh, volatile, dropped below it and tried to get back above the 50-day moving average, but never convincingly got more than one or two percent above it and came back down below. And now that 50-day moving average has become support. Notice uh, since mid-June that there's been three different instances where the 50-day moving average um, held a support and sparked a rally. One, two, and again now. Uh, now, the thing we got to watch here is that even though the 50-day moving average is acting as support, there's a lot of overhead resistance. We've got the 10-day moving average currently at 1878, which is right where the price is right now. And then just above that at 1892 is the 20-day moving average. So really all the way up to about this 1900 and 1905 level, um, we've got some significant resistance of the past week. But if we can get back above this 1900 level convincingly on big volume, that was a significant level of horizontal res uh, resistance and psychological price resistance. So a move back above 1900 could spark another rally in Ethereum, but the price action does have some work to do uh, before we get there. So uh, in the meantime, though, um, let's take a look at the altcoin market, because even though Ethereum has uh, a lot of overhead resistance, we're looking at several altcoins that are showing great relative strength and are trending higher even while Ethereum is sideways. And that's what we want to be focused on 
and Morpheus Crypto, we look for leading altcoins showing relative strength to the rest of the market. Solana caught our attention back in early July when the volume started surging higher and the price action moved back above the 50-day moving average and really became interesting uh, starting on July 13th with this big surge on massive volume. Notice how for two days in a row here, volume surged to the highest levels in many, many months and the price action broke out above a multi-month base. Now, it did stall and reverse lower alongside of Ethereum's failed breakout on July 14th. But when we see this type of relative strength and volume, when those type of cryptos pull back, those are generally the first ones that the bulls return to when the price action in the overall market improves. So in other words, cryptos of relative strength that don't drop as much as the market are the first to surge higher when the rest of the market does. So when we saw this big move in Solana, this became one of our top cryptos that we were looking for for pullback entry on. And we noticed that uh, we had a downtrend line that had developed and we also had dipped below the 10 period moving average. This is what the chart looked like when we last highlighted it in our previous video. Uh, the price action had just dipped below the 10 day moving average and we were looking for a potential pullback entry. Now, when we're doing pullback entries, we don't like to try to guess where the bottom is. Rather, we wait for some bottoming action to form and solidify and then we buy when the price action starts to look short term bullish. So. We've been looking for an entry on a breakout above this downtrend line into strength after the undercut of the 10 day moving average. And let's go ahead and look at what happened. Uh, you can see here that uh, we had another downward move, but after a one day undercut of the 20 day moving average, we, we actually broke out uh, just yesterday, broke out above this downtrend line and back above the 20 day moving average. So uh, in the Morpheus Crypto chat room, we told members that we were buying it uh, right on this break of this downtrend line. So we, we were long now uh, SOL and currently showing an 8% gain uh, since our entry point just two days ago. And uh, notice that price action looking good now. We rallied on higher volume and now the price is back above the 10, 20 and 50 day moving average. So in terms of relative strength, we've got Bitcoin and Ethereum below their 10 and 20 day moving averages, but Sol is above it's 10 and 20 day moving averages. And that's a real simple guide to look for relative strength right now. Look for altcoins that are still trading above their 10 and 20 day moving averages while the rest of the uh, broad market is not. So SOL looking real good here. Um, we're going to continue to uh, hold this position and maximize the profits. And depending on market conditions, we're looking for a potential retest of this prior high. And uh, we have a stop in place. Uh, to we will raise higher to lock in gains along the way. LINK, this is another high relative strength crypto that while Ethereum and Bitcoin were below its 10 and 20 day moving averages, Link was still trading above its moving averages. And Link, what caught our attention was this big move on July 20th, a huge volume move. Um, for those of you who are new to Morpheus Crypto, our trading strategy largely is based on volume surges because volume is the gasoline that powers momentum. And you can see here this huge volume breakout we had in Link on the 20th. After that, we started waiting for a pullback to get a low risk entry point. And we got our pullback entry just two days ago with a one day undercut of the 10 day moving average. We like these undercuts. They run stops and they give us low risk entry points. And we got in uh, Link right around $7.53. We sent an alert to members of the chat room and uh, told everybody we were buying at $7.53 when the price moved back above the 10 day moving average. So we're currently showing almost an 8% gain since our entry just yesterday. So very similar to Sol, uh, we entered both Sol and Link uh, yesterday in the Morpheus Crypto chat room, and we're up about 8% in both of these trades right now. Uh, Link is looking great. Uh, we're going to continue to hold this uh, in anticipation of a test of the prior highs, and we'll look to trail stop depending on market conditions. If you missed our original link entry point, look for any pullback to the 10 day moving average as a secondary entry point. So that currently would be around the $7 and 80 cent level. In addition to SOL and link, Ripple XRP is one of the top cryptos on our relative strength watch list right now. Back on July 13th, XRP doubled in one day. In case you missed it, this was the day that news was announced that XRP had won the lawsuit um, against the SEC. And uh, that was a massive rally. So of course, when you've got the price action doubling in one day, it takes some time for the price action to digest that big move. So this uh, sideways choppy consolidation pattern is normal. And uh, we can see here over the past couple of days, we've got kind of a base of support forming around 67 cents with the rising 20 day moving average rising up to provide support. 
And we've got a downtrend line that's forming now from the highs, which notice how that downtrend line is converging with the 10-day moving average right around just below the 75 cent level. So we're looking for a potential buy entry on a move above this downtrend line and 10-day moving average convergence. So if we go sideways for a couple more days, then of course that would be a lower entry price. But uh, this is, um, again, like I said, when we look for pullback entries, we don't try to guess where the bottom is. We wait for the bottom to be formed, and then we wait for momentum to reverse back to the upside. So keep an eye on XRP for a potential entry uh, in anticipation of a resumption of this previous rally. Uh, so XRP, definitely one of the hottest cryptos on the watch list. If you're not already in Soul and Link, uh, you're not a member of Morpheus Crypto, uh, look for potential buy entries on a pullback to the 10-day moving average. Uh, any type of weakness, as long as the relative strength remains, those are the top plays on our watch list right now, SOL, LINK, and XRP. We also want to keep an eye on the 50-day moving averages of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Again, that's a pivotal level. We want to make sure the price action holds that 50-day moving average. But as long as it does, then we could see a significant rally in the altcoin market, which is developing now with a handful of leading altcoins. So as always, we'll continue to keep you updated on the hottest action in the crypto market here at Morpheus Crypto. Uh, if you're not yet a member of Morpheus Crypto, head on over to MorpheusTrading.com and click on Crypto Picks, and you'll receive the hottest crypto swing trade setups every day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here in the next Morpheus Crypto video.